Reinforcement. Got all the cables and wiring out of the front here. So next thing to do is cut all of this off at the edge here. I really wish I had a plasma cutter, but it is what it is. So all this needs to come off. We can cut off the front end. Hopefully down there doesn't need to be. Look like it might have to be patched in. A new piece might have to go in down there. But we'll see as we go. Start cutting down this line here. Cut all this off. Put down here. We'll see what we end up with. Just chopping along. Uh, I cut out a little space here so I can get to the steering knuckle. I guess that's what you would call it. Or the steering box. So I can disconnect the pedals, get those out of there, and get the steering box and steering column out of here. Disconnected the four bolts that hold the plate on. Uh, I'm not sure how this disconnects will. I'm going to try and disconnect it down here at the yoke. Pull the steering column out and uh, see how this disconnects completely. I don't want to take it apart with these bolts. I'm sure there's some way to do this in one piece. I don't know. We'll see.
steering column out. More space for shenanigans. Now I'm going to clear off all this stuff and then start cutting all of this out. Now granted, I don't know uh, much, I would say, about bodywork. But I do know you just don't pipe panels and uh, screw them in when you have a hole. Pointless. Like Phillip screws, flathead screws. What's the point of any of this? It's not even metal, this is. I don't even know what this is. <sighs> um I'm gonna take this brake assembly out so I have it, everything completely out of here and then I can just I think I'll just cut through. Alright, looked online to see how to remove the pin, right there, there, for the parking brake handle, and pretty much everywhere just says cut it out on each end and then hammer it out as best you can. Uh, you can get a replacement pin with cotter pins easily, so that's what I'm going to do to get it out. Once that's out, I can take the rest of the floor out. Destruction! there on purpose time will tell if I need to trim it out completely but as of right now the floor is out front end is out I still have one more support to go but I'm not sure if I'm gonna cut that out just yet or wait till well it's already off that side so it's still connected. I might just cut that piece off and then I'll spend the week um, cleaning up, grinding all the surface rust off and doing all that stuff. Good progress today, real good progress. Um, I guess I'll cut the video here. Uh, getting tired. So yeah. I think I'll do a little bit of cleanup and then I'll call it quits for today. And then, yeah, that'll be it for this video. I'll start another video probably during the week. Cutting off the rest of this and cleaning up the front end. Um, next time, still um, fold this up. I know this has some spot welds and then get in here and cut this panel off. 
and the other side get everything ready to start putting on the new metal and then go back grind some more on the back end fill in more that needs to be filled in that's how I'm gonna do it work on the front fill in on the border panel until it's done so until then I'll see you guys in the next video peace